What will I be when I graduate? What are my next steps? These are the questions that we have all asked ourselves at one point. These are the same questions many of you have undoubtedly been asking yourself leading up to this point. Seeing that you asked for it, here's my advice. Ask a better question. What question you ask? Try this one. Who will I be? Here's some more advice on the answer. Be uniquely, confidently, undeniably you. Many of you, up until this point in your lives, have attached your identity to what you do. You're an athlete, a musician, a member of a club, a scholar, but this phase in your life where you have crafted that identity is ending. Sometimes, that may seem like a relief. Sometimes, a little scary. Often, a mixture of both. But I invite you to use this moment as a chance to reflect on what you bring to any group you are part of and how they don't define you, but instead, how you are part of what defines them. You are unique, and that is what makes you valuable. There is no one in this world that can offer those around them the exact same value as you. So don't hide from the quirks, beliefs, or interests you have, because that is what makes you the person others want to be around. So own every piece of who you are as a person. Be confident in who you are as a unique, valuable human being. You know, there's something interesting about confidence. It's contagious. More importantly, it affects how you carry yourself, decisions you make, and mental state. Most importantly, its presence or absence has a direct effect on your eventual level of success, no matter the position, job, career, or goals you have. It is hard. There will be times that you aren't sure. There will always be negative comments. Ignore them and be who you are and continue to grow, stepping forward into your own personal greatness because nobody ever knows your whole story and nobody can love you as much as you should love yourself. After all, who's better at being and living the authentic you than you? Live so that nobody can ever deny the person you are. Live in a fashion that you don't have to speak or even be in a room for people to understand who you are and what you are about. Lean into who you are and what you believe with an open mind to grow. All too often today, we hear everyone's opinion from and through a closed mind. It is very difficult to pull the truth from the noise, especially when it's a complex truth. So start with yourselves by speaking and living your truth and honoring others with an open mind for growth. Doing that will have a much needed impact on the world around us. More importantly, it will help you grow into your full potential. These three things are not easy to do and push us to look for a definition of who we are. That's because definitions are simple and short. All of you sitting here tonight are anything but simple. Instead, I urge you to describe who you are affording yourself the ability to create a complex version of who you are. If you can't think of any words to, be to begin describing who you are or who you want to be, try starting with this one, human. A human who is not just at peace, but happy with the unique, confident, undeniable version of yourself and willing to accept that very same thing about others. Class of 2023, I truly offer you my most sincere congratulations and honestly believe that you are all unique, can all be confident, and ready to be an undeniable force on this world. Congratulations.